Wherever you are across the globe, welcome back to the Web TV podium here at the 62nd ISI World Statistics Congress 2019 at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center. Today, I have the pleasure of having Ms. Deborah Ashby, who is the president of the Royal Statistical Society. Welcome, madam. How has the Congress you. been for you? I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's my first time at any ISI Congress and it's my first time in Malaysia, certainly Kuala Lumpur. I'm enjoying myself so much, the mixture of debate, presentations, but also a welcoming, really varied country. I shall be back to visit Malaysia, but I shall be back to ISI in future as well. I'm having Please a wonderful do. time. Please do, welcome back. How is the society with 19th century roots stay relevant in the 21st century? The Rostas Society is nearly 200 years old. And so I went back and did some reading about how it was set up. And what has really struck me is that the motivations of those original fellows are not so different from what we're grappling with today. They cared about the state of society, they cared about how we deal with statistics, about how there are enough people to do it. And we're grappling with that. The scale is different, but there's actually more in common than I would have imagined before I started sort of reading back into the archives. What would it be that slight difference since there's a lot of similarities? I think it's largely a difference of scale. Data collection was much more painstaking. I showed in my presentation maps that Charles Booth did. Now he walked around London to find out where the poor areas were, where the richest streets were. He took his cousin Beatrice Webb, who was Beatrice Potter, who wrote the um, Peter Rabbit stories, and they went street by street collecting data. Now we leave data trails wherever we go. When I came here, I had travel cards, I've left emigration from the UK, immigration into here, fingerprints. There's data everywhere. Whereas things, calculations were done by hand 200 years ago, now we have phenomenal computer power. And what that means is instead of a few people being able to do it, we now need many, many more professional statisticians, data analysts, but we actually need a much more numerous society. How does the statistical literacy play out between the 19th century and now the 21st century? Right, in the 19th century, and I quoted Florence Nightingale, who was a great, she was a nurse, but she was also the first female statistical member of the Ross Society. She was livid that politicians weren't good on data. I have to say your prime minister, really understands data and what it's used for. He gave a fabulous address here, but many of our politicians don't. Our politicians still need to grapple with data, but actually so do the public if they want to understand what treatment to have for cancer or where to invest or which is the best credit card to use. They need to understand analytics and they also need to understand when data is being misused and to understand when we've got fake news. So I think it's that Far more people need to be literate than previously. Thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you. Deborah Ashby, President of the Royal Statistical Society. I'm Anna Edwards, and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.